So we're here at the Jeff Ward Museum. We're gonna go in here and take a look. This is about 100 feet from the bridge. The bridge over the River Kwai right here. You can see an old train here with a Japanese flag. And it says right there, during World War II, the Japanese used this train for the transportation of ammunition to expand the fight into India and Burma. Oh, interesting. And we're actually gonna go inside. Looks like it is 50 baht to go inside. What do we got here? Oh, got the helicopter. What a day out here. Couldn't be nicer. Looks like we got jet skis on the river too. Gotta love it. So if people can help me out in the comments right here, what kind of car is this? Does anybody know? Let's go to the front. This is the entrance right here to the Jeff War Museum. A little spooky. Pretty interesting here. It says the original native place of the Thai people came from Mongolian tribes and they eventually settled way down south where Thailand is today. Interesting. So we've walked in the third building of the Jeth War Museum, and it is absolutely fascinating. Everything in here is real and authentic, and you see pictures from the way it was. It does follow mainly what happened here during World War II, but it kind of goes far beyond that in the past with other pictures, what's going on around the world. You can see here all the real uniforms, Oh yeah, just right there. And the weapons they used on both sides, well, basically the Japanese. So on the first floor, we had an absolutely superb exhibit of Kenjin Opry during World War II and beyond with all the artifacts. Just couldn't be any better. One of the best exhibits I've seen in a long time for history. As you go up to the second floor though, I don't know how this connects exactly, but then it goes into Miss Thailand throughout the years. And great exhibit up here too, but I don't see the connection right there exactly. But hey, that's okay. I got a better question for you. These are all different Miss, uh, Miss Thailands throughout the years. Don't they all look the same? I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe she's immortal. So when you go to the museum here, the Jeff War Museum, go to the very top of the first building and then make your way into the second building once you go to the top. Once you do that right here, you're gonna see a bunch of newspaper clippings like this, history from Thailand and around the world, which is really cool. And then if you go outside, you're gonna get an epic view of the bridge right here. I'm gonna flip it around and you're gonna see it. Here we go. Look at that. Oof. Yeah. You can get the view of the mountains over there. So I'm gonna keep moving. So I think a lot of people or some people remember the movie, The Bridge on the River Kwai in 1957 with Alec Guinness. This is the actual place right here, the river. So a little history for you along with cinema. Look at that view. So this museum just keeps going. There's an exhibit down below that shows you what the train cars kind of look like. And they have a statue, if you can see, 
a guy in white laying on a bench right there. It looks like a dying soldier. So we're gonna keep going over here. Really interesting. It's older, but it has a lot of artifacts in here and history behind it. So here's another example of what the POWs went through here. You can see right there, this is a train car and just one of the exhibits here. We're gonna come over here and show you what else they have. They did an excellent job. So it is kind of eerie and grim, but I tell you what, it has to be said. So these are some of the original train tracks right here, and then we're gonna flip it around. And you're gonna see one of the exhibits right here with the Japanese soldier right there and the workers right there. So this is what the bridge actually looked like back in the day. There's some old articles and pictures right here on everything, a little more history. You see something on the POWs right there. You can actually take the train, it'll clear up, and you can take it through the canyon right there off the river. There's also the cemetery that we're gonna visit later, just like that, which a lot of POWs and Asians in general, including ties, were buried. So this is old camera equipment, probably owned by the Japanese here, but it's kind of hard to tell. There's no signs on this one. Really interesting. It is behind glass right there. But you can see, oh, all the record players right there. I know there's a reflection, it's kind of hard to see. But really interesting. There we go, it's better. And then we have oh, musical instruments here, saxophone. If you love motorbikes, there's a huge selection of Japanese military bikes here. Looks like in pretty decent condition. Whoa, see all these here. Hmm. All kinds of shells right here, bombs, ammunition. So if you come to Thailand, especially Kanchanopuri, I have the perfect place for you to come you need some dental work done here you go right here look at this I'm sure for like three dollars they could fix you right up you sit in that chair right there you are good to go I'm in there's some boats here and these boats had a specific purpose they carried sick prisoners of war stricken with malaria and they delivered them to field hospitals at Khao Poon so yeah look at this right here So we have Japanese soldier helmets right here. So many of them, you can see them. So the Japanese soldiers and military commanders would come by on carts like this to inspect the bridge work being done and the railroad. So use something like that, probably horse-drawn carriage obviously, and something like this too. Real interesting.